Hello, Darren Alf here from BicycleTurnPro.com. I have finally gone out and purchased a new video camera to create my videos here on the Bicycle Turn Pro YouTube channel. So I'm going to show you my new camera in just a second. But first, let's talk about my old camera. This is the Canon G7X Mark II. This is the camera I've been using to create my videos for the past several years. And there are a lot of things I really like about this camera. It's a small, relatively lightweight, compact, point and shoot video camera and still camera. Um, it opens with a single click of a button, which is important for me because I'm oftentimes shooting while I'm riding my bicycle and I can't stop and like pop a lens cap off of my uh, camera while also riding my bicycle at the same time. It's got a flip screen so I can see myself while I'm recording my videos. Um, it has built-in video stabilization so my shots are relatively smooth while I'm riding my bike. That's very important. Um, shoots in HD, um, not 4K but uh, 1080p and uh, a whole bunch of other things that I really, really like about this camera, which I talked about in a previous video. But the main issue with this camera is that the audio is really, really bad. The built-in uh, mic is not so great. If you've watched any of my previous videos, you've probably heard a lot of wind noise. And that wind noise causes a whole bunch of problems, both for you uh, watching my videos, as well as for me. I gotta go in and add subtitles so that you can understand what I'm saying when the wind is blowing. And that creates a whole lot of extra work for me. It also makes just the overall quality of my videos um, a whole lot lower. So I've been wanting to go out and get a new camera, but I haven't been able to find anything that like fits my perfect definition of what I need for my particular style of videos. I wanted something small, compact, lightweight, uh, shoots in HD, preferably 4K, uh, that has, uh, you know, opens up with a single uh, click of a button, doesn't have a lens cap on it, has a flip screen, has built-in stabilization, and also has an external microphone input. So in a previous video I mentioned that I was searching for a new camera and many of you guys donated money, thank you so much by the way, to help me go out and purchase a new camera so that I could create more videos for the Bicycle Turn Pro YouTube channel. And I collected over a thousand dollars in donations from you guys, my supporters, my patrons, my readers, my followers at Bicycle Turn Pro, which was incredible. Um, so that that money would allow me to go out and purchase almost any camera that I wanted to get. Unfortunately, at the time that I collected that money, I did a bunch of research and I simply could not find any camera that I wanted. I was leaning towards the Sony Alpha, but then I realized like that camera has a lens cap on it and I don't know if, if the, uh, that's gonna work for me. And also the video stabilization I didn't think was very good on that camera and I need something really good because I'm riding my bike while I'm shooting my videos. There's a lot of shaking going on when you're riding your bike while shooting a video. So I needed good stabilization, something that would allow me to turn the camera on with a single click and I just couldn't find anything that I wanted or liked or that would be suitable for my particular videos until this month, the month of August 2019, Canon finally announced that they were going to come out with an upgrade to their Canon G7X Mark II, the camera that I've been using and like so much. And I made a video saying that I wanted this camera, but I just wanted it with a microphone input. That's pretty much all I wanted. And lo and behold, Canon came out with a new camera just a few weeks later, the Canon G7X Mark III. This is the upgrade here to this camera, my Canon G7X Mark II. And one of the main features that they have added to the new Canon G7X Mark III is an external microphone input, which is right here on the side of the camera, so that you can add an external microphone to this camera in order to generate better audio while you're shooting your videos. And so this is the camera that I've basically been waiting for and it came out just a few weeks after I made a video saying, this is the camera that I want. Um, they've added a bunch of other features to this camera. This new Canon G7X Mark III also shoots in 4K. Um, it's got a bunch of other little upgrades as well, like the flip screen's a little bit different. This little dial thing's a little bit different. Um, but overall, it feels like pretty much the same camera as the Canon G7X Mark II. So I am very happy that Canon came out with this camera just a few weeks after I made a video saying that this is the camera that I basically wanted.
So I've gone out and used your money, the donations that you guys gave me, to purchase this new Canon G7X Mark III. And this is the camera as it comes, kind of straight out of the box, but I'm going to show you now uh, how I add the microphone to the camera. Okay, so here is the camera, the Canon G7X Mark III, and here is the microphone that I want to attach to it. This is a little Rode microphone that does not require any extra batteries in order to power it. A lot of external uh, microphones require batteries, and I don't want to be messing with batteries uh, while I'm out on my bike trips. Um, it's hard enough just to keep this charged, let alone the microphone and all the other electronics that I'm carrying with me on my travels. So that's why I'm using this particular microphone. I'm also using this microphone because it's got a big old windsock over it, which will hopefully help me to dramatically reduce the amount of wind noise that is created during my videos. There's some wind and rain coming down right now. You might be able to hear it in the video. Now, with a lot of larger cameras like a DSLR, uh, camera that you might have with big lenses and stuff like that, there is what's called a hot shoe or a cold shoe up here on the top of the camera where you can mount accessories like a microphone or a light uh, to the camera. The Canon G7X Mark II and the Canon G7X Mark III do not have a hot shoe or a cold shoe up here on the top of the camera or anywhere on the camera. So I have to figure out a way to mount this microphone to this camera and the way that I'm going to do that is through the use of this little bracket here. This is like a five or seven dollar bracket that I purchased on Amazon. And what you do is you screw in one end to the tripod uh, mount down here on the bottom of the camera. So you just line that up, screw it in here. So I've got the bracket on here. I've got it angled just a little bit. You'll see why in a moment. But um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna first open up the external microphone hole here and I'm gonna plug in the uh, external microphone. And then I'm gonna take the microphone itself and mount it on this little cold shoe on the bracket. And I've twisted this to the side just a little bit so it's easier to mount um, in the cold shoe. And then I'm gonna slide the bracket just back a little bit into place so that, it, there we go. And then I tighten the bracket over here. So here's what you get in the end. This is the Canon G7X Mark III with the Rode uh, external microphone with a big old windsock on it, plugged in to the camera directly through the external mic input on the side of the camera. And once again, because of the placement of the uh, microphone off to the side here, I can still use the flip screen um, when I'm shooting. So that's really cool. I'll turn the camera on just so you can see. So there we go. And you might think that this would be in the shot over here, but you can't see the uh, microphone at all once the uh, lens is opened up. So anyways, there is the camera, and it's a very cool, lightweight little rig that I can still use uh, while I'm riding my bicycle with one hand. One hand operation for this entire thing. So this is the camera setup that I have been waiting for. Um, all I wanted was the Canon G7X Mark II with the external microphone input, and that is basically what I've got here, which is the Canon G7X Mark III with the external microphone input. I also ha now have the option to shoot in 4K if I want to. But hopefully, this external microphone is going to make a very big difference in my videos in the future. All right guys, that's it. This is my new Canon G7X Mark III vlogging style video camera. Thank you so much for helping me get this camera. If you are one of the people who donated to help me purchase a new camera, this is where your money went and I can't thank you enough. If you wanna help me make more videos in the future, however, uh, you can. Please go to my website at bicycleturnpro.com to learn more about donating. I have a whole bunch of gifts for my patrons on that page, so if you donate, any amount, small or large, uh, there is a gift waiting for you. Just go to bicycleturnpro.com forward slash donate. Your donations go towards things like helping me purchase new camera equipment, editing equipment, uh, hard drives, which I am constantly filling up with new footage from the road. Um, the donations also go towards helping me cover the costs of running my website at Bicycle Train Pro. Hosting fees are about $1,000 a month, and then I spend thousands and thousands of dollars every year on top of that towards my trips all around the world. Uh, those trips which I then go out and shoot videos from, uh, which I share with you here on the Bicycle Train Pro YouTube channel. So donations go towards all of that stuff. It costs me thousands and thousands of dollars every single year to run Bicycle Train Pro, so your donations go a long way towards helping me keep the channel up and running. 
All right, that's it. I am Darren Alf, once again from BicycleTurnPro.com. This is my new Canon G7X Mark III. Thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you out on the road sometime soon. Stay tuned, make sure you're subscribed to the channel because in a future video, I'm gonna be testing these two cameras side by side so that you can see how the audio has improved from this camera to this camera. I'm gonna compare the onboard microphone on this camera to the onboard microphone on this camera, and then I will also test this camera with the external microphone that I've added here so that you can hear the difference between this and this. I may even test these cameras against some of the other cameras that you might use to, to record your videos on your bicycle train adventures, like the uh, GoPro video camera or even your smartphone. I'll test all of these cameras together so that you can hear how the audio differs from camera to camera to camera. Okay guys, that's it. I am Darren Alf from BicycleTrainPro.com. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you out on the road sometime soon. Bye-bye.